What's up, guys? Today is December 25th. That means it's Christmas. Uh, this is not coming out on Christmas, but I'm filming it on Christmas, so Merry Christmas, guys. And today I'm going to do my book haul. I do two book hauls a year, so this is a special one I'm going to do. This is my Christmas winter book haul, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, this is a book haul. I don't have a crazy amount of books, but I'm just gonna be covering what I got in December, mainly for Christmas, but just all December buys. And hopefully you stay tuned. I got five books, but it's not crazy, but it is very, very good because I got more books. The first one is actually The Hero of 1000 Faces by Joseph Campbell. Now this is really a hero's journey story it's more just for me to be a better reviewer to be more to be more enveloped in stories because stories are pretty cool and i review them on youtube so i should be more enveloped with stories more classic stories more archetypes to see like so i think this book will help me become a better reviewer so this is my workbook you know if you know what i mean but like this is really not for me to review it's for to teach me to how to review or how to look at things from different perspectives. So this is really just going to be uh, just a book that helps me helps me read, actually. Helps me become a better reader. And hopefully I can review your books better by reading this book, Hero of 1000 Faces. And I'm really excited to get into it because it's just like such a classic. And if you guys read it before, tell me about it. I would love to hear about it. This is my copy. It's a little hardcover. And I really like it. So I'm excited to get into it. And... Yep, this is the book number one, Hero of 1000 Faces. Okay, if you did not know, I collect Guinness World Records. I have a um, hardcover from 2016, and that's I got the one it actually came out. So I've been getting them for a long time, and this one I got the 2022. I always ask for them for Christmas. I, if you remember my last Christmas book haul, I had 2021, now I have 2022. And if you see, they kind of, they kind of connect with each other. I don't know if you can see it from this video, but... All right, if you can see that, they kind of connect. That's pretty cool. Just something to look at, and it's, kinda, it's totally not from my, like, on brand with my channel, but I just like to show these off every year, and I will, because Guinness World Records are awesome, and it's just a cool book I look at all the time, so I have the 2022 now, so that's really awesome. The next book I have is actually kind of kind of a coffee table book. The World of the Wheel of Time. This is such a cool book. I can't tell you guys enough how, what a cool book. I've been raving over this book all day now. It's, it has everything you could ever need. And I've been so accustomed to this world, like, like just like looking at all these pictures. Like this, is, I think all the book cover pictures is like full pages of the book. This is obviously book seven with the classic picture of Rand. And it has like all the like little things. It has all the maps. It has all the things, even like about like, the wise ones and the Aiel, look at that. And then it has Oak Gear. I definitely have to play some pictures over there. Look at Loyal. Look at Loyal being being himself right there. And I've looked at so many pictures. I haven't read through this whole book because it's obviously like it has all the world, but like like it has pictures of all our characters, explains stuff like the seven odd jaws, and it's just like like the you know, rise, like the first stage, you know, and the second dragon, you know, like uh, the rise of other hawkwing. And this is such a really, really, really awesome book. And I loved, loved this. And look at this Dragon Reborn cover. I love these full cover art. I could rave about this book for a long time. But The World of the Wheel of Time, it's really a beautiful book. And I'm going to keep it right there next to my Dark One graphic novel and my Doom graphic novel. This is The World of the Wheel of Time. Because I don't think it goes really nice on my shelf. It goes pretty nice right there. So that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, there it is. The last book I got, I got some other stuff, but... We got the Neil um, Stevenson. Uh, this is Seven Eves. I've never heard of this book, but one of my friends got it for me, and I'm super excited to get into it because I've never heard about it, and my friend really liked it. It's sci-fi, and definitely it's a Neil Stevenson, so I'll definitely read and review this. Don't know a lot about it, so I can't tell you a lot about it, but here it is. Tell me if you read it in the comments below. Tell me what it's about because I've read the back. It sounds very interesting so tell me if it's good or not and i'm really excited obviously 
in December, I also got this baby, my favorite book that I own. It's really beautiful. It's Dune Folio. You can't get better than that. It's it's Dune Folio. What can I say? I have a review for it on the channel, but I also bought that. It's really expensive, but I can tell you it's worth it. Quick little thing. I also got a Funko Pop. It's formal Paul Atreides, just I don't have any Dune Funko Pops, so it's cool that I finally have a Dune Funko. And I also have a Dune hoodie because I'm, you know, I'm a Dune kid, so I have a Dune hoodie. So House Atreides, right there. So it's just honor and duty, and I also got this. I gotta get my Dune stuff. So that's what I got for Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Hopefully you had a great Christmas if you celebrate, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.